Everybody has dreams. Nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life, right? Nobody knows what you are. Even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are. You got to take your shot. And as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dream, it's not going to be like that all the time. You got to do it alone. And people will help you when you get the ball rolling, people will jump on. But if you don't believe, nobody else is going to believe. People come along because your belief is so insane. Following your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it. Many of you, as I have been, as I am, are where you are in your life based upon what you believe. And it's not just what you think you believe on the surface, it's also your shadow beliefs that are holding you back from moving into the life that you believe you deserve. What I know is if you're not looking at the shadows, if you're not looking at what is subconsciously running through the tape in your mind, telling yourself you're not good enough, you're not worthy enough, you're not smart enough, you're not enough, which is a tape that's playing for a lot of people. If you're not conscious of that, then you end up acting out of that belief system and not out of what you know to be the truest or want to be the truest for yourself. You don't become what you want because so much of wanting is about living in the space of what you don't have. That's why Jim Carrey's story is so powerful, because he started to act as though he already had it. He would go up to Mulholland Drive, he would drive away saying, thinking, I already have those things, I just haven't accessed them as yet. I believe those things are going to come to me and I'm going to act like they are, so I'm going to move forward in my life in order to draw that to myself in such a way that my actions are in alignment with what I say I believe. So if you start to think about that, really, why are you where you are in your life? The choices that you have made have been because of what you believe to be true for yourself. If you can for the rest of your life live inside of yourself, stop listening to people who are calling you fat, gay, transsexual, nigger, everything that is makes no sense. All these insecure people putting their insecurities on you, you got to flush it out. You gotta take everything and throw it away. You have to believe in one thing and that is yourself. Right now, for you to find greatness in yourself, you're not gonna find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me. I may give you the spark, but you've got to go inside yourself to find it. And that means you gotta be quiet. Go in a room, stop talking, search your soul, search your mind, search your abilities and you'll find it. But if you're not looking for it, you won't find it. So you gotta go start your journey. And the journey starts with you finding, why the hell am I here on this planet Earth? Why am I here? And if you don't know that, you will live the rest of your life searching, always asking the question. You have to believe you deserve to win. And sometimes it's not just that we think we're good, but that we've done so much, we must be worthy of winning. See, there's this adage in life, good people in life won't take more from the table of life than they think they're worthy of and they deserve. See, in business sometimes, short term, we've all seen this, someone with bad intentions can get ahead short term. But you always reap what you sow, karma is always a real thing, and eventually the people that take shortcuts, that cheat, that hurt other people, that have ill intent, the world, the universe, God sort of finds a way eventually to get them where they're supposed to be. But good people will never take more than they think they're worth, which is why the mandatory requirement for good people to win is they believe they deserve it. They believe they're worth winning. And sometimes it's not just who we are that we need to believe in, but what we've done in this sense, that sometimes you've got to outwork everybody and you've got to be willing to do the things nobody else is willing to do. So you begin to convince yourself, man, I'm doing all the things everybody else is unwilling to do. So I deserve to get the results other people aren't going to get. I'm doing the things other people aren't willing to do. I'm paying a price that's so much greater than other people that I'm worth it.
that I deserve to get results they don't deserve to get because I've been willing to do the things they've been unwilling to do. So the last piece is often self-confidence can just frankly come from outworking everybody and convincing ourselves, man, I've been doing the things nobody else is willing to do. I deserve to get the results nobody else deserves to get.